So I was sitting here burning my extremely yummy, creamy nutmeg Bath & Body Works candle. This smells so good. And I was just like, I want to practice a spring pastel look for tomorrow. Tomorrow's Easter. And then I was like, I'm just going to film it because even though it's the day before Easter, and even though this is kind of a trial run, I figured you guys would enjoy it nevertheless, and maybe it would inspire some of you guys to do something colorful tomorrow. So I'm actually going to put this up right now. I was just like, I'm just going to film and put this up. That way some of you guys can watch it either tonight or first thing in the morning, and hopefully it will inspire at least one person to just wear something colorful for Easter. So if you do end up wearing something colorful tomorrow, whether you celebrate Easter or not, it doesn't even matter. You can still do it. If you would like to tweet me pictures of it or video response your look or post something somewhere and link it to me, that would be really, really cool. And we could spread the Easter or the just Sunday cheer around. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little trial run pastel tutorial and I will see you guys later. Before I get started, I just want to tell everyone that this eye is a little bit swollen. It's been doing that a lot lately. I think I'm allergic to a new product I'm using. It doesn't hurt. It's just been swelling up and then going back to normal and then swelling up. So I don't really know what's going on, but it's kind of swollen today. You can tell the underneath um, eyelid is just kind of swollen. So I just wanted to throw it out there because a lot of people have been commenting on it and stuff. But I'm going to start off with Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm I'm just going to prime my eyes with this. Then I'm going to take two NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencils. This one's in strawberry milk and then I have just plain milk. I'm going to put the strawberry milk all over my lid. I probably shouldn't be piling on the makeup when it's swollen like this, but I think I'm just allergic to something and hopefully I'm not using the product that I'm allergic to right now. I've been using the same products over and over again, so I don't really know what it is. I'm going to blend this out. But nothing to be too scared about because it doesn't hurt. So, yeah. I should probably be more scared than I am. Okay. Then I'm going to put milk on the inner corner. Like that. And then kind of blend it out with my finger. I'm also going to put the strawberry milk underneath my eye. Then I'm going to put some Sunset Bee on the lid with some Swish on the inner third and some Post Haste in the crease. So I have Sunset Bee first on my 239 brush and I'm going to put this all over my lid, all over where that strawberry milk is. This is a really pretty medium Barbie pink. Then I'm flipping the brush to the other side and I'm going to add some Swish, which is a little bit more of just a purpley pink. It's a little more shimmery and I'm going to put that on the inner third. I'm kind of blending this in to the Sunset Bee that I just placed on my lid. Then using the same brush, I'm going to put a little bit of Naked Lunch on the inner corner over the milk. And like I said, this was a practice run, so on the first eye, I was kind of like going with it and changing things as I went. So I actually put a little bit of Vanilla Pigment over the... Um, Naked Lunch on my inner corner, so I'm going to do that to this eye as well so they match. Then with my 217 brush, I'm going to put a little bit of that Post Haste, the bright pink, just on this outer edge and kind of into the corner. And this is just more of like a hot berry pink. It's a lot more magenta pink than the other colors. The other colors were a little more purpley. I'm using the color Pin and Pink for my highlight color with my 227 brush. This is a really light kind of matte pink. And it's going to help blend the colors really well together too, just kind of making it look flawless and um, combining the lid colors together on top. I didn't want anything too shimmery for the highlight color in this case because all the lid colors are kind of really shimmery and really bright and have kind of that finish, that shimmery finish. So I wanted something more matte for the top. Underneath my eyes, I'm going to use this purple. This is called Stars and Rockets, and I'm going to use my 219 brush from MAC. And this is a really pretty blue purple and it looks really great paired with pink colors. So I'm just going to brush this on underneath my eyes over where I put that strawberry milk. And it looks kind of like a pink color, it kind of looks like the other colors, but it just has more of a purple in it. And it's going to draw out the blue eyeliner as well when I put the blue on. The liner color I'm using is an Urban Decay 24-7 color in Electric. This is a bright turquoise. I love this color, it's one of my favorite ones. These liners are great. They go on really smoothly and they blend really well and they're just really, really pretty finishes. So I have that. Then I'm going to curl my lashes. 
And then I'm going to put one coat of my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, which I love this mascara, but this one must be getting kind of, it must be drying out because it's not really like separating my lashes as much as I would like it to. Kind of annoyed me on the first eye. But this is what I used on the first eye. I might use something else tomorrow just because I think I need to get a new one of this. And as I'm applying this, I'm kind of pulling my lashes outward because I'm going to put a little bit of fake eyelashes on just for fun. And I want to create kind of like the dough eye look because I think that kind of works for Easter. Then I'm going to use a little bit of this NYX Glitter Candy Liner. This one's in lavender. And I thought it would just look pretty. It's like a purpley blue and I thought it would kind of complement the blue shadow. So I'm putting this on over the blue liner. I meant blue liner. I didn't, I said blue shadow, but I meant blue liner. Clearly. I'm just putting that on. Then I'm going to use a couple of individual lashes. They look like this. This is the Revlon Lush Lash. And I'm just gonna use the lash glue that came in the kit because I don't know where my duo lash glue is. I grabbed one with my tweezers and I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on it. Then I'm gonna wait for it to get tacky. So I'm gonna wait like 10 seconds. Then I'm gonna place it right on the outer corner of my lashes. And you can just do one if you want, but I did two on the other eye, so I'm going to do two on this eye as well, just to make them even. So I just put two side by side each other, still on the outer ends, but I just thought that one looks kind of funny, so I added a second one. And then once the glue dries, I can kind of touch up the turquoise liner. I did that on the other eye as well. For blush, I'm going to use So Sweet, So Easy Cream Blends Blush from MAC. It's this really pretty like pinkish kind of spring color. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. That's actually a little lighter on its own than I meant for it to be. So I'm going to add just a little bit of this color. This is called Sweetness and it's just a bright powder blush from MAC. I'm just going to use a little bit right on the apples of my cheeks just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. My fake eyelashes are completely different angles and they make my eyes look really weird because these ones are going like out like the perfect cat eye. This is kind of what I meant for it to look like and my first attempt is too far forward and they are going at different angles. But anyway, for lips I'm going to use Sheen Supreme Lipstick in Supremely Confident. It's a really pretty nude pink color. And it's like kind of glossy on its own. It's a really nice consistency. And then I'm going to use Fab Fun Gloss over it. This has a lot of like glitter and it's really pretty. And then last thing, I'm just going to touch up the turquoise liner on my top lid of this eye. I'm literally just kind of going in and going over where the, um, kind of the glue dried kind of white touching up the turquoise and then I am done with my little practice Easter look. Hopefully this inspired you guys to wear something kind of colorful and different and bright for Easter and I hope you guys have a great day tomorrow whether you celebrate Easter or not just have fun with color make it a happy Sunday and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!